Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to talk about the case of warts on glans penis and foreskin during HPV of 52nd and 18th types. A young man came to see us and so-called knowledgeable dermatologists in dermatovenerologic dispensary set him a diagnosis of purely papules. You can see a separate video on our channel about what are the purely papules. They told him that it's normal. He came to us with the aim of removal of these purely papules that bothered him. They were traumatized and they induced the cosmetologic defect. During careful observ observation, as you can see on the picture, we can see not quite purely papules as knowledgeable doctors in dermatovenerologic dispensaries suppose. Instead, we see condylomas acuminatus. This is well seen by dermatoscope, a very simple device that magnifies several times. Secondly, they can be seen externally with enough experience. Such cases require competent diagnostics. This is scraping for 21 types done from the surface of rashes as well as from inside the canal, etc. Often a careful observation by dermatoscope helps me to find small condylomas acuminatus at the base. They are often taken for sebaceous glands. You can watch a separate video about it on our channel. Here we have to take analysis for HPV, as I said, from the surface of rashes and from inside the canal. In this particular patient we got a high concentration of HPV of 18th and the 52nd types. After that we recommended immunogram and general blood analysis and a treatment was prescribed, secondary to which a removal was performed. You can see how the sexual organ of this patient looks like after removal. Removal was done under local anesthesia with a common amla cream. Generally speaking, in this particular case we did not do injections, because fortunately this was not required. Such small condylomas acuminatus can be removed and here it is very important to first of all prescribe a treatment either at the moment of removal or to remove during the process of treatment. The reason is that growth may occur secondary to removal, so I am a proponent of prescribing removal either at the moment of beginning of treatment or at the time or at the same time with antiviral treatment. Here we need a follow-up observation for the remaining rashes and after treatment control analysis are done and such patients are recommended regardless of presence of 18th type of virus against which the vaccination is done to do the vaccination because this often prevents, prevents infection by other types of HPV. Secondly, our experience shows that he, this facilitates a complete healing of human papillomaviruses. If someone after reading the internet thinks that a complete healing from human papillomavirus is impossible, then we have hundreds or even thousands of cases. I have no time to collect statistics when the patient, several years after treatment, do the analysis of human papillomavirus and they are negative. This means that the immunity together with our help, however I don't have a false greatness as many professors have, probably immunity itself has expelled the human papillomavirus and we are only external observers. It expels it very rarely, but we have hundreds of cases when secondary to treatment, this is proven by repetitive multiple analysis, the fact that human papillomavirus is absent in discharges from urogenital organs of men and women. Therefore, healing is possible, and it often requires several courses of treatment and not anal suppositories that are prescribed by many of our doctors. I am prone to recommending the vaccines such as guarded seal or Cervarix, which is a bit worse, as a treatment measure, not secondary to immune treatment, but later on as a complex treatment of human papillomavirus. If it's necessary to diagnose, treat and remove different neoplasms in the area of sexual organs, you can consult venerologists and urologists of our paid medical center of dermatovenerologic dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such diseases. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.